What is up all my friends, it's Cutwear, back with another video. This time I anticipate on a recent topic on the global chat in Albion Online. Many people who begin Albion Online don't know where to begin. They ask for example in global chat, where can I get ore? In this guide I will explain all the basics of gathering. Of course I will cover where you can find certain resources and how to recognize them. Let's jump straight into the first sheet. Why gathering? Many people ask me in the game, Kutwir, why do you even gather? You got enough cash to buy all your gear straight off the auction house. For me the answer is simple. I want to be self-sufficient. I don't want to be the puppet of the market. When there is a guy who is that crazy to influence the market to buy every single resource and put them back twice that expensive, I am screwed. That means gear and weapons will also increase in price. That is how the whole market stuff works. So simply I don't want to be the puppet of the market. And of course there is also another side. You can make bank with gathering. People are naturally lazy. People like that guy who asked me that question, you can anticipate on that. Gather resources and sell them on the auction house. For example, tier 1 resources don't give you any fame, but people need them to build and upgrade buildings. They simple are too lazy to gather their own tier 1 resources, so they buy them Overpriced from you. What do I need for gathering? This is a simple answer. Here in the sheet I made a simple overview for you guys. You need an axe to gather wood. You need a sickle to gather fiber. You need a pickaxe to gather ore. You need a skinning knife to skin animals. And you need a stone hammer to gather stone. As I already mentioned above, you can gather a lot of different resources. Logs used for crafting weapons. This is also a basic resource for buildings. Fiber, used to craft light armor, schooler, clerics and mage armor. Ore, material used for crafting weapons. This is also the main resource for heavy armor, soldier, knight and guardian armor. Height, used to craft medium armor, mercenary, hunters and assassins armor. Stone. This is a basic resource for buildings. Log gathering. This resource you can find in the swamp only. Except for tier 1. You can find that in every biome in Albion. Logs are an important resource. Many people use this to craft their weapons. For example, warbo users need wood to craft this weapon. Logs are also used as a basic resource for building buildings. As you can see in the simple overview I made on the sheet, the first row from the left to the right, you got tier 1 rough tree, tier 2 birch, tier 3 chestnut, tier 4 pine, tier 5 cedar, tier 6 blood oak, tier 7 ashen bark and tier 8 Whitewood. Under this overview you see some special looking resources. These are from left to the right normal logs, uncommon logs, rare logs and exceptional logs. These resources will be used to craft enchantment type of weapons. Fiber gathering. This resource you can find in the swamp, steppe and the mountain biomes. And probably when the other two remaining biomes will be introduced, you will find them there too. This is the main resource to craft light gear such as schooler, clerics and mage armor. In this overview I made of the sheet, from the left to the right you will see tier 2 cotton, tier 3 flax, tier 4 hemp, tier 5 sky flower, tier 6 red leaf cotton, tier 7 sunflex, tier 8 ghost hemp. And again 
Under this overview you see some special looking resources. From the left to the right you got normal fiber, uncommon fiber, rare fiber and exceptional fiber. These resources will be used to craft enchanted types of armor and weapons. Ore gathering. This is a basic resource for heavy gear such as soldier, knights and guardian armor. Ore is also a basic resource needed for weapon crafting. Again from the left to the right we got tier 2 copper, tier 3 tin, tier 4 iron, tier 5 titanium, tier 6 runite, tier 7 meteorite, tier 8 adamantium. Again under this overview you see some special looking ores. From the left to the right we got a normal ore, uncommon ore, rare ore and exceptional ore. These resources will be used to craft enchantment weapons and gear. Hide gathering. This is one of the hardest resources to gather in my opinion. Because you don't only need a skinning knife, you also need some decent armor and weapons to actually kill the animals. Hide is the main resource for medium gear, such as mercenary, hunters and assassins armor. Most melee weapons used hide too. From the left to the right we got tier 1, a frog. This will give you scrape height. Tier 2, you got a fox, this will give you rugged height. Tier 3, you can kill giant toads, this will give you thin height. Tier 4, here we got a normal boar. This will give you medium height. Tier 5, it's a bear. This will give you heavy height. And from tier 6, we get a dire wolf. Also known as a really fast mount in Albino line. This will give you robust height. Tier 7, this is a dire boar. Also known as that fancy fat looking mount. <laughs> this will give you thick height. And at the end, tier 8, this is a dire beer, also known as the dire type of an ox. This will give you resilient height. Keep in mind guys, the last 3 dire animals can drop rare pups. You can craft dire mounts with them. So keep them or sell them expensive though. Rock gathering. This resource is mainly used to upgrade and build player buildings. Without stone you don't have a house of course. From the left to the right we got tier 1 rough stone, tier 2 limestone, tier 3 sandstone, tier 4 travertine, tier 5 granite, tier 6 slate, tier 7 basalt, tier 8 marble. This resource is amazing to sell on the market. Refining. For the end we got refining. This is a common thing besides gathering. The stuff you are gathering need to be refined before someone can use it for crafting. Here in the sheet you can see copper ore to refine that into a copper bar. But if you want to craft tier 3 bars you need a copper bar and a tin ore tier 3. So, for example, if you want to craft yourself a tin bar tier 3, you need a tier 2 copper ore, refine that into a tier 2 copper bar, then you need to gather tier 3 tin ores, and along with the tier 2 copper bar, you can craft yourself a tier 3 tin bar. This is the same for all the other gathered material. This was my basic gathering guide for you guys. I hope after this guide you will start gathering and refining for yourself. You all know how the resources look and what you need to gather. Please let me know what your thoughts were of this video. Please thumbs up and of course if you want to get notifications when I got a new video subscribe down below. That was it for today guys, thanks for watching and I see you around in Albion Online.